What about when adults employ misgenders you I'm intentionally? So sorry, it is the holiday season and nobody has time for your shenanigans. What about when adults employ misgenders you I'm intentionally? So sorry, while, she's talk while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's it also. Well, okay. she did do it intentionally twice. Okay, so you're talking I did not to do it too. You said she and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have Port Authority escort you out the building right this moment if you want to play that game with me. Okay. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. What's up, everybody? Ty Rivera here, the absolute best LGBTQ comedian in the world. So by now, this has already gone viral. I saw it two nights ago or last night. Whenever it came out, I saw it and I thought about letting it go, but I really do feel like this is an important one to speak on. An actor by the name of Tommy Dorfman that has been a man up until like three years ago, got into it with a Delta employee and was saying that they were misgendered. If you just want the most basic version of what misgendered is, that that's when you call somebody something other than what's going on in their head. And I hate to break it to everybody, but nobody has to be in your head. Nobody has to know what it is that you're getting at. If the ticketing agent doesn't know that you're supposed to be a woman, it's not on them to know that. We cannot take what you are not giving. I know you probably felt like you look like a woman, but I hate to break it to you. I looked extensively through your TikTok. You do not. You do not look like a woman. Ah! So expecting these gate agents to know what it is you're doing is not fair on any level. And if you claim to be the type of person that you're claiming to be, what you have to remember is at the heart of it, you are a white man trying to get a black man fired from his job because he didn't know what was going on in your head. It's as simple as that. You didn't get misgendered. You got clocked. So in case you don't know what getting clocked is, it's basically when somebody figures out that you're trans. So you're out walking on the street, blending into society, and somebody says, hey, that's a dude. Like, you just got clocked. And I've used this term before, and I know not everybody gets the full scope of it, but clocked is a thing. And it sucks. It sucks bad. And the LGBT, you also kind of got red. And the reason I say you got red is because I don't think that they were trying to clock you. I think they just saw you, heard your voice, assessed your behavior, and everything about you was giving men. I mean, come on. I know you probably thought you were serving fish, but what you were actually giving was bologna and cheese. And I know nothing has to hurt worse than you having a day where you feel like you have acquired natural woman status. Status. You are living your ultimate feminine fantasy. And you probably decided, I'm gonna go to this airport looking like shit, like a real woman would. Anywho. And I know that in pictures, you occasionally can look. It's hard because I'm not trying to be mean on any level right now. I'm really not. But I'm just saying pictures like this are you at your best and at the perfect angle. Like the photographer was being nice to you, really wanted to let you shine. But this is you all done up and you still are not giving natural woman. Not quite nailing it. Not trying to be mean at all. Just saying that if this is you completely glam up and I'm not judging you for showing up to the airport looking like shit please it's the holiday season we all do it but that's probably what you did maybe you had a little bit of stubble a little bit of a shadow you didn't have time to get a full shave I've hung out with many trans women sometimes that's just what you're giving that day maybe you were drinking the night before maybe you don't even drink you were just doing wholesome things up late Christmas caroling hanging out with friends looking at Christmas lights it got laid on you and all of a sudden you're like 
like, I'm going to catch this quick nap. I'm going to show up to the airport giving whatever I give. And when you got there, you felt like, I look like a natural woman. My friends lie to me all the time and tell me that this is what a woman looks like. So I'm going to be a little bit difficult maybe because I notice that they don't actually say what the issue was that caused the initial argument with the gate agent because usually once you check in you don't really have to deal with the gate agents like that so what was the issue that made you even have to have words with the gate agent because the fact that you leave that out does tell me that it probably was something real small-minded and petty and then when you realized you were losing that argument you decided to go for the misgendered because until very recently it has been very popular and a lot of people have been very sympathetic when a trans person any trans person would fly that flag of discrimination suddenly we were all supposed to drop everything we were doing and treat this like it really mattered I personally was never on that train I mean when somebody gets disrespected I'll be there for them when it's a genuine person trying to live their life and somebody's choosing to disrespect them and especially if that person is in a professional capacity like this gate agent was but I don't think this gate agent was doing anything like that I think what happened was you started pressing them about whatever your issue was and you forget that every one of us during the holiday season when the airports are at their busiest and flights are being canceled because of inclement weather and they're being stretched to their limits because they're having to work extra long hours all of us get treated like cattle during this time it's just what it is I chose not to travel this holiday season because I don't want to deal with holiday travel and what that all equates to so you probably welcome to equality got treated like everybody else and if you had made it that kind of issue, maybe some people would have agreed with you, but it wouldn't have been the kind of headlines that this turned into. Some people would have been like, yeah, they do treat us crappy at the airport. And you would have had your little friends having your back and that probably would have felt good to you. But instead, you tried to turn it into a thing where everybody needs to boycott Delta. Are we allowed to say boycott anymore? Or should we them caught Delta? But whatever we're gonna say if we're gonna them caught them then I would need more information than just the fact that a gate agent addressed somebody that sounded 100% like a man by most accounts probably looked like a man and was behaving like an angry man in that moment of being flustered that gate agent referred to you as a man and it was probably an honest mistake which has to hurt worse than if somebody Somebody were intentionally trying to hurt your feelings but what we need to remember in moments like this is that it's on us to present as what it is we're supposed to present as in order for people to be expected to get it. And I know the Anti-Defamation League stepped in and they've referred to it as a human rights violation. That's not at all what's happening here. And I'm so tired of LGBT people trying to hide behind images and memories of the original civil rights movement because it's not the same. And even though I know this person hasn't drawn a parallel between themselves and Rosa Parks. I can't help but do that if you're trying to present it as some kind of human rights violation. Did the problem that you had to deal with the gate agent over originally stem from the fact that you're trans? Or was it, like I said, something probably very minuscule and annoying and something that we all have to deal with? Like possibly they made you check your bag at the gate? And I feel like it's something really real low class like that because this actor was on 13 Reasons Why which was a Netflix show a couple years back and I wouldn't imagine that this person is exactly rolling in dough and this didn't feel like a first class conversation to me and I'm a person that doesn't fly first class either so I'm not trying to act like I'm the classiest guy in the world and those are poor people problems but I would imagine that you're probably flying coach 
rich and you feel a little bit like a celebrity and something happened that you didn't think should happen and you thought your celebrity would straighten it out and if the celebrity didn't work then you could always go the trans route and say you were being mistreated because you were trans but if you were in any way to draw a parallel between this and Rosa Parks if you really felt like it was that kind of moment if you really feel like you were pointing out a human rights violation which I know it really bothered you when the gay agent told you it wasn't intentional but if you yeah. want to take it personal that's also well okay. she did I know that really had to bother you and I also couldn't help but notice when he told you you were being condescending you were like Ooh. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have- You are antagonizing him. Whether you want to accept that or not, that is what it was. You are antagonizing him. So you guys are both getting into it, and I would say that he's probably in the right because around the holidays, when you're traveling, you do have to accept that they're not going to be able to hold your hand. They're not going to be as sweet as you would like them to be around this time of year because they're dealing with so many people people a lot of those people are angry they're in a rush even if your flight hasn't been canceled how often during the holidays and even just regular travel because I do travel quite a bit how often do we see those people that left the house late or didn't wake up on time and now they're running to go do everything and they're causing a frantic situation for everybody there's been some of those I guarantee you and plus you were in New York New Yorkers really don't care about your problems like that. That adds to it. And you're at LaGuardia. Anybody that's been to LaGuardia knows you're not getting good customer service at LaGuardia. Sorry, LaGuardia, but it's just what it is. Let's not play with each other. You may identify as being customer friendly LaGuardia, but you are not. I've been to LaGuardia a few times. It's not exactly a luxurious situation. So, like I said, you probably showed up with the wrong attitude, feeling like you were giving a little more feminine than you were actually giving, not only in presentation, but in presentation. And the gate agents got flustered and they misgendered you because you look and act like a man. Ah! And that's nobody's fault other than, I don't even know if I could say your own because you are a man. It's not really your fault that your nature is your nature. Maybe it's more attributable to the fact that you are telling yourself that you're something other than what you are and not behaving accordingly or looking accordingly. And you want to make that everybody else's problem when it just can't be. And that's why I say a lot of the country is getting tired of this because at the end of the day, it's nobody's job to feed your delusion. It's nobody's job to make you feel like anything other than what it is they're feeling off you. And I think the Anti-Defamation League is doing a disservice to the LGBT community as well as any person that's dealing with an actual human rights violation because situations like this serve to minimize the real cases of people having their human rights violated. And I think that that's something that we all need to be very cautious about because what I was going to say when it comes to people trying to draw parallels between things like this and the civil rights movement or people that we think of from the civil rights movement is that Rosa Parks messed up her own day altogether because she knew that what she was doing was that important. Where you decided to behave yourself rather than take it all the way out. And that's the reason I know you don't have a real case or anything that you're really standing on. Because if you were really standing on something, you would have been like, I don't care about this flight. I don't need to get there right now. What needs to happen is this airport needs to come to a grinding halt so that I can stand up for not only myself, but people like me so that this kind of injustice doesn't continue to happen. You didn't do that. You shut your mouth. You said you were going to go ahead and keep it pushing is what you did. And if you were really dealing with anything as serious as you're pretending this is, that would not have been an option. I'm sure Rosa Parks did not make that decision that day. She just had that decision put on her and was like, well, this is where we're at. I'm not moving to the back of the bus where you said I didn't pay to be in the front of the bus. <laughs>
So I should probably take my little coach problems back to coach. And you also deleted the TikTok where you decided to share this because you're the one that decided to shame this man. And you deleted that because you knew that what was coming in wasn't gonna be good for you. So what I would tell the average person, and I would not say to send any harassment this person's way, what I would say is boycott anything that Tommy Dorfman is in. Anytime you see Tommy Dorfman is on a Netflix show or a movie or a TV show, do not watch that. Let these people learn their lessons the same way that they want the rest of the general public to learn their lessons. Let them lose their jobs. Let them be so undesirable for studios and streaming services that it makes more sense for them to not have them on than continue to feed this kind of narcissistic personality. This kind of toxic person that tried to make a person of color lose their job during the holidays. And if you don't know anything about actually working for an airline, it's not as easy as you just go apply for the airline. There's tests, there's ways that you have to work your way up. Once you get in there, it actually does come with some good benefits. So you're really trying to ruin a man's life just because he addressed you as what you are, which is a man. Whether you like it or not, that's what you are. Facts are facts. And when it comes down to it, if you ask me, you probably were just being treated like everybody else at the airport. And I'm not going to pretend your story of being misgendered is anything that's particularly pressing in my life, nor am I going to pretend that it should be particularly pressing in anybody's life. You should just have accepted that you had a bad day. You and a gate agent had a less than pleasant exchange, which again is something that we've all dealt with with if you travel with any regularity at all. Every once in a while, you and a gate agent will be a little bit like, okay, I don't think we like each other. Anyway, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to comment just to help me on the algorithm and you don't know what to comment, just put a knife because you know they are going to come for my neck on this one. This has been Ty Rivera, the absolute best LGBTQ comedian in the world. Mm -hmm.